Hi's Marina, Hi's Marina. This is the rib Abel Hand. Abel Hand requesting a lock in. Over. Rib Abel Hand, Hi Marina, good morning. I'll just set the gate to you now. Please stand by, Abel. Standing by. So we're approaching the lock now at Hyth Marina Village. And this is a locked marina, which I absolutely love. There's nothing like a locked marina for security. You've got no sea running in there of any sort at any time. And the wind doesn't bother you. The tide doesn't bother you. All your problems are over once you're through these lock gates. So uh, a locked marina is something to be sought out, really, in my book. We've got some chains coming down the sides with plastic piping over them. Those are there for us to push our ropes through. We pass them round the back of those and back into the boat. And we can secure them on board if we want or we can keep them in hand if, that's, if we're strong enough. That's all we have to do. What we must not do is make any ropes fast that come down from the dock. There are some extra ropes in here, some black ones actually, as it happens. And they are there just to grab onto, to help you to uh, control the boat as you're coming in. So now we're going to come in, we're going to go as far up the lock as we can because that's a courtesy in case anybody's coming behind. Today there's nobody coming, but very often there's a pile of boats all waiting to get in. Very often when you're approaching a lock in a well-run marina like this, the chaps will uh, wander around along the top of the dock and help you with your lines, maybe even drop you one or at least show you what to do. Um, that's not happening here at the moment because of COVID. It, your lines are down to you and they want you to use your own lines, not their lines. So. Um, we're going to go right up to the top and secure starboard side too. My crew, Ros, will take the bow line and I'm going to do the stern line when we're nearly there. Yeah, we'll have that one, Ros. Yeah. Now we're in. I'm going to turn off my engine straight away because otherwise the lock pit just fills up with diesel fumes and it's horrible. If I had a radar I'd turn that off as well because the lads up in the lock shed there they don't want to be fried with people's radar day in and day out. Okay levels have equaled off, gates are open so we start our engine. There we are, get ready to let go. And we're off. It can be a very painless procedure, a lock, and this particular lock is a very nice one. The guys know what they're doing, everything's calm in here, and uh, once you get behind that gate, it's happy days.